Hello everyone! This video will help you start working with the Universal Mechanism Software version 9. This is the first video tutorial from the course that dedicated to creation and research of a number of simple mechanical systems. Video tutorials will be given on the principle of from simple to complex. It's assumed that you will study them sequentially just as they are presented in the user manual. Some videos of the course will be devoted to the study of the features of individual models of the program. A link to the corresponding section of the user manual is provided in the video description. In this video tutorial we'll learn how to create a new model of pendulum add bodies and hinges to it, synthesize and compile equations of the motion, run simulation of the dynamic of the simulated object, and build graphs of various variables. The lesson is intended to give you a general idea of the sequence of mechanical systems modeling in the Universal Mechanism software. Click on Start, find Universal Mechanism 9, Choose Universal Mechanism Input. From the File menu, choose New Object. The window of Constructor appears. Take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with the Universal Mechanism Constructor window. Tree of elements of a model in the left top corner of the Constructor window is used for getting access to model elements. Animation window in the center shows the model or its elements. There is a following indication for axes. Red for X, green for Y, blue for Z. Point of view, zoom and other settings can be changed via toolbar buttons. Using the context menu, you can set perspective parameters, supporting grid, etc. Inspector at the right-hand side of the constructor is the main tool for the description of elements. It shows parameters of an active element. It contains full information about current element of the model. We recommend to start describing any mechanical system with creating a set of graphical objects of the elements of the model. Scene is a graphical object corresponding to fixed elements of the object. Describing the scene is optional. To create a scene, you should make a usual graphical object and assign it to the scene image. As for our example, it is an image of the fixed joint where the pendulum is attached to support. In order to create the corresponding image, you should do the following steps. Point to images in tree of elements. Click plus button in the top of the inspector to create a new graphical object. As you create objects, Universal Mechanism automatically assigns names to them. Each name consists of string containing the element type and a unique integer ID for that type. Universal Mechanism named the recently created graphical element G01. Point to the box with the name of the element and replace GO1 with support. Every graphical object can include any number of various graphical elements, so you are able to create quite complicated images. Let's create three elements – sphere, cone and box, which form the image of the support altogether. Click Add new graphical element button. New tab appears. Choose type for the new graphical element, ellipsoid. Point to the parameters tab and set A 0.05, B 0.05, C 0.05. Go to the animation window and use the mouse wheel to increase the scale, or use zoom in zoom out button at the top of the animation window. Point to the color tab and set diffuse color to red. Create new graphical element and set its type to cone. Warning! Don't add new graphical object, instead new graphical element within graphical object. In this example we create the only graphical object, support. 
which contains three graphical elements – sphere, cone and box. Point to parameters tab and set R2 0.1 R1 0 height H 0.15 Set diffuse color to red. Create new graphical element and set its type to box. Point to parameters tab and set A 0.5 B 0.5 C 0.05 Point to the graphical element position tab. Set translation Z to 0.15 so you just finished the creation of graphical object named support. Now let's assign the support a scene image. Point to object item of tree of elements. Select support in a scene image list. Let's make new graphical object pendulum. Return to the images item in the inspector. Create new graphical object. Rename new graphical object to Pendulum. And don't forget to press Enter after any modification of the text data. The Pendulum image consists of two graphical elements, an ellipsoid and a cone. Add new graphical element, ellipsoid, and set its parameters as A 0.05, B 0.2, C 0.2. Set diffuse color to blue. Add new graphical element cone and set its parameters as R2 0.03, R1 0.03, height H set as 1. Set diffuse color to blue. Now image of the pendulum is ready. The pendulum as a mechanical system consists of the only body. Point to bodies item in tree of elements. Create new body by clicking the add new element button. Rename body to pendulum. Select pendulum from the drop down list image. Set mass as 1 kg. Now let's start creating joints. The rotational joint connects the pendulum and the base zero. To create new joint, do the following actions. Point to bodies, pendulum. Click the button go to element and then select create joint, rotational, to create a rotational joint. After that, the rotational joint is created and named as G pendulum automatically. Joint points and joint vectors describe the position of the rotation axis relative to each of the bodies. Their coordinates must be given in the corresponding body fixed system of coordinates. In the group joint points, pendulum, set Z position to 1. So the pendulum will swing around its upper point. Now your model is described completely and it's time to save it. Select menu item file, save as and change the file name to pend. The model is ready to be loaded in the Universal Mechanism Simulation program. Select Object Simulation. Universal Mechanism Simulation program starts and opens the current model. Now we are in the simulation program. We will open new animation window, deflect the pendulum from vertical position to one radian and run simulation of dynamics of pendulum. From Tools menu, select Animation window. New animation window appears. Familiarize yourself a bit with animation window. You can rotate the image clicking the mouse wheel as a button. 
You can shift the image using the left mouse button. You can zoom in and zoom out, rotating the mouse wheel. Let's start simulation. From the analysis menu, select simulation. Window of the object simulation inspector appears. You should deflect the pendulum a bit in order to obtain its motion. Select the initial conditions, coordinates. You can see a complete list of the object coordinates. In our case, there is only one coordinate in J pendulum joint. Set the coordinate to 1. Press Enter. Your pendulum has deflected. Then go to Object Simulation Inspector, choose Solver tab, and choose Simulation Process Parameters tab. And then set the Delay to Real Time Simulation checkbox on. Because if your computer is powerful enough, the simulation will happen very quickly and you will not be able to see anything. Now your model is ready for simulation. Simply start simulation process for 10 seconds. Click the integration button in the Object Simulation Inspector. Process Parameters window will appear at the lower right corner of the screen. At the end of the simulation, the pause window appears. You can increase the simulation time, change the numerical method, etc. Press the Interrupt button. Object Simulation Inspector appears. Drawing Plots During the simulation you can see plots of various variables, such as velocities, acceleration, forces, and so on. We will open new graphical window, create new variable to plot y-coordinate of pendulum center of mass, and draw its plot. Let us create new graphical window. From the Tools menu select Graphical window. Open Wizard of the Variables. The Wizard of the Variables is a special tool for creating variables which can be drawn in graphical windows or animated in animation windows in cases of vectors and trajectories. Let us draw a plot of Y coordinate of the mass center of the pendulum. Select Linear Variables. In the left side of the window set checkbox to Pendulum, select Y in the component group, then move the variable to the container with the help of this button. New variable RY Pendulum appears in the container of the variables. Select it and drag it into the graphical window. Select the Object Simulation Inspector and click the Integration button. You can see how the plot of your variable in a graphical window appears. Let's try animation of vectors and trajectories. During the simulation you can animate various vector variables in animation window. Let us animate the vector of the mass center velocity. Firstly, we need to create such variable in the wizard of variables. Select the Wizard of Variables and then select the Linear Variables tab. Select Velocity in the Type group. Select V vector in the Component group. Add this variable to the container clicking the Point in Hand button. Drag new variable to the animation window. A list of animated vectors is hidden by default. To make it visible and choose its position, Select Animation window, click right mouse button and select Position of the list of vectors, bottom. To draw a trajectory of the pendulum, create a new variable with the help of the master. Repeat all steps we made for the velocity, but type the variable set to coordinate. Drag this variable to the animation window. Double click on the velocity item in the list of vectors and select red color for the vector of the velocity. And then double-click trajectory item and select blue color for it. Click the integration button in the Object Simulation Inspector. Now you can see the vector of the velocity and pendulum center of the mass trajectory. 
In the animation window, choose the pop-up menu again. Choose the vector settings. In the Wii window, type 2 to make the vector scale 2 times smaller. Double-click on an element of the list of vectors to change the color of the vector and trajectory. In addition, for the trajectory, to change the number of points on the curve. That's all for now. You can proceed with next lesson, named Oscillator.